Hi guys, welcome to the website of Pedro. Pedro is the maintainer of the Chaotic AOR. And what's that? That's an Akita Place, an automated building repo for AOR packages. And you can add it to the system, to Arch Linux, to, to Arch Linux, to ACL, to Arch B, Arch D, doesn't matter. You can add it to the system. And um, we've made it uh, so that it's possible in an easy way. Just update your system. That's the first job. You need to get the new databases in. And as you see, I already have it. I already have the link in here. So what you do is you say sudo pacman minus s chaotic. And there are two things you need. The mirror list, so where are the packages? And his key ring, so they are signed with his key. And both need to be on your system, so I'm gonna reinstall them. The next thing you need is, I think it's explained here, go to your etcpacman.conf and add it to the list. We're going to probably add it to the list for March, but in the meantime, please give us feedback. Is this a good idea to do or not? I'll jo just to show you the advantage. So pacman, pacman.conf. And I've put it in the end. Remember, I can't say it enough. If I want to install a package called Spotify, it's gonna look first in testing. Is it available in testing? Arconlinks repo, no. Then it will go to the next one and to the next one and to the next one. It's not available on the Arch elements. Then finally, it will get to chaotic A bar. So I, I think that would be a prudent way of doing things. If it's available on Arch, uh, Arch Linux, you come, it comes from us. Otherwise, it comes from Arch Linux. If you say, no, I want to have this one as the first server, you put it all the way at the top. So I'm going to go for the prudent way and save it like this. So this is the line you just copy paste over from here. And that's the link. And um, then it's fun time. And, and why would we do that? Why would we do that? Well, I think I will help a lot of people saying, Eric, can you build me package X and package Y? And I say, oh my God, it's too big. It's just too big. And we kind of look at the repositories here and then chaotic AOR. And I've just did the exercise, uh, sort by relevance, no, sort by size. There is something up here that's called uh, Unreal Engine, 57 gigabytes of Unreal Engine, right? <laughs> Quarters free, 15.4 gigabytes. So let's just go over them and maybe it triggers you and say, oh, that's interesting. People have asked me to install, to, to prepare for them eh, the DaVinci Resolve, but it's 3.7 gigs, gigs. So if you put it on the ISO, right? It's okay, you can put it on the ISO. Just make sure that the pacman.conf includes everything, the keys, the mirror list, and where to find it here. So the three things I've done, you do it to any of our building ISOs, and you build it, and you got it. So Android Studio has been asked to me as well, 1.7 gig, just click, one click, which I'm not gonna do, and it's installed. IntelliJ has been asked as well, 1.4 gigs. So lots of things in here. Wine stable is in here. We have this one as well. Um, WPS office here. Um, just go over up. Maybe recognize things. Only office bin is here. QMU is here. Uh, LibreOffice Softmaker. Linux firmware, but the Git version of it 636.9 megabyte. Crossover is here, run the Windows program on Linux. So big guys are here and they're ready for me to install. Just to click away. Eclipse is here. Wine gets oxygen icons. Look at that, 400 megabytes for icons, okay. Bitwig Studio is here. I've been asked to build it as well. So here it is guys, it's pre-built, but I want to know your feedback. I say, Eric, that's a great idea. Oh no, don't include it. I uh, just want to know. We can always include the lines. And um, well, 
just give me feedback over the coming months in mid-march we have a new release i don't know what this is xanmod patches um, google away i would say i'll do the same microsoft edge dev bin is here got a lot of commands i comments on it on youtube obviously heroic games launcher epic games mm. IntelliJ, another one here. So there are also applications, I don't know. So this is installed on this machine, but it's coming from our own repo, extra large. Get Kraken. Oh, we don't have it. I know the package, but I guess we don't have it. There is Spotify Dev here as well, if you wanna try it, Teams. We have Teams as well. So I just want to show you the possibilities um, and ask you the feedback. If you say, all right, this is awesome. Studio Wayland is here, I see. On Google Chromium is here. So a lot of things. Let's go to the very last one, the smallest one. That's a lot of, a lot of lines. I mean, um, maybe you don't um, get it yet, but it's packages. There are clusters ask him what it is but it says here hourly, hourly text so they're built at an hourly frequency i would guess so i'm guessing another morning text that's every morning i think it's doing it anyway it's automated so scripts are running all these things and um, maybe you can see it in the date it's released Oh, Linux kernels. I just wanted to go all the way down. <laughs> Let's go all the way down to the smallest of the smallest the packages. Wine Meta is here, a small package, is it? I guess we don't know here the bytes end. 27 bytes update corrupt is here. Yeah, watch out with things as well. There's no guarantee. I see Garuda, Garuda things in here um, it is experimenting we have the chaotic mirror list in order to have all this but i'm definitely gonna try out uh, these guys mhwd that's for um for drivers mhwd that comes from manjaro and Manjaro started with all this. Maybe, I don't know, if this can help us with all these NVIDIA problems we have. There's our things in here. I have no clue what they do, but I do know that has something to do with um, drivers. Guess we need to install it to see it. All right, guys, I'm out. Try it out and let us know. Cheers.